Estonia, home of beautiful women and forests and bushes and food. How's it going lads, Phil Potter here, welcome to the second episode of Exotic Teams and today we've got Estonia. Uh, if you were to tell me that you'd be able to make an Estonian team in FIFA 14 Ultimate Team, I would have told you to shove a sausage up your arse, because I wouldn't have believed you. Uh, but thanks to Tom Willoughby for suggesting this team to me, uh, he sent me a message on YouTube, so if you're listening baby, thanks very much. Now uh, I suppose let's get into a few of the key players and uh, then after that I'll show you some of the goals I scored, some, some nice little goals with this shitty looking team I must say. But before we do that, if you're looking for some cheap Ultimate Team coins, PSN codes, Microsoft points, any of that good stuff, then check out thegamekeys.co.uk. Their link will be in the description. If you use the discount code Phil as well, you get a further 5% off, which is absolutely deadly. So check that out. It'll be in the description below. Now, uh, I suppose, as you can tell, it's quite a low-rated side, so there aren't many key players, but we'll, I'll show you just a few of them. I suppose the keeper will have to be one. He's actually quite a high-rated goalkeeper, considering uh, it's... It is Estonia, so 65 rated, uh, there's not much to say, 74 reflexes, he was a solid enough goalkeeper, uh, nothing out of the ordinary, you conceded goals when you'd expect him to, to concede them and all that, you know, uh, so what am I talking about, I'm talking through my arse, <laughs> we'll go on to the next player and that is Clavin, Ragnar, Ragnar Clavan. Uh, now honestly I've no idea what an Estonian accent sounds like, I have a feeling that it's like a mix between like a, a kind of a Swedish, uh, Finnish kind of accent and like a uh, Kazakh, Kazakh accent, you know what I mean? I feel like it's it's mental. So here's my impression, right? Leg, Oh, okay, right. Um, that accent won't be coming out again for the rest of this episode. Now, uh, yeah, he's a solid enough defender. Scored two goals in 13 games, which is pretty good for a centre-back. 72 defending, 73 heading. That's basically all you need. Good, a good solid man back there. Now, the next key player... Uh, has to be this guy, Sander Puri. Uh, four star skills, just he's 70 paces solid enough, you know. And um, for a low rated side, he seems to stand out, you know. So he's got one goal, two assists, nothing good about that, really, is there? But, uh, you know, 200 coins. This team is so cheap, it is ridiculous. That uh, this squad of 11 players cost me a whopping 1,750 coins. So you know what I mean? It's just a very, very cheap team. Now, the next key player is this guy. And I was shocked to see that he was only 59 pace. Uh, like, I swear to God, my nana, I call it my nana. Other people call their nanas, their grannies, their grandmothers. I don't know, their nan. But I call her nana. Uh, <laughs> she could run faster than him, I'd say. And let's be honest, she can't. Barely walk, but anyway, 59 pace is terrible, 65 shooting, 66 passing, 65 dribbling, they're all kind of just solid enough for a player like that, uh, and to be honest, I was shocked that he was only 59 pace, but um, three goals, four assists, not too shabby, he's a good left foot on him as well, I think he's left foot. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And now this man is the key player. Sergei Mojnikov. I think I pronounced that right. That sounds good. But uh, four star week for four star skills. 69 pace is solid enough and his 67 dribbling is good. To be honest, 58 passing. I swear to God, I thought his passing was better than that. And his shooting is decent enough. You will see one clip how close I was to scoring. An absolute screamer with him. So stay tuned for that. But he's got three goals and three assists. It's, it's solid enough, but... When you compare that to one of my strikers, my high, higher rated striker, you'll go, holy shit, Sergei Mojnikov is the dog's bollocks. <laughs> uh, have a look at this. Henrik Ojama, right? That, that just reminds me of an Irish person, an Irish, Irish person uh, saying pajamas, like, uh, you know, like, Ojama. Oh, uh, like, oh God, never mind. Like O'Brien and O'Connor. Oh, Jamma! Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that is the worst joke to date. I've said a lot of terrible jokes in my time, but that is going down as the worst one. But anyway, 13 games, one goal from my 69 rated striker. Uh, that is absolutely terrible. I mean, look at his stats aren't that even that bad. 79 pace, 74 dribbling. I have no idea how he only scored one goal, and I'm shocked to see that. But uh, this is the man with the goals and he's the stats. Uh, you know, he's got the seven goals and the four assists. Beautiful stuff. 71 pace, solid enough. But he looks absolutely shy. I'd say it's his four-star weak foot kind of stands to him as well. He sounds like he might have a bit of French background to him. Like, I would imagine his name is like Henri Agnès. You know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's it for the key players in this team. Uh, so stay with me and we'll have a look at the goals. 
So, just like in the last episode, if you could tell me your favourite goal, just keep an eye out on what goal ma really made you kind of, made your nipples tingle, made your arsehole quench, que what am I talking about? Uh, but yeah, just write it in the comments below what your favourite goal is so I can, you know, compile the best goals and make a compilation in after the series is over, you know. So, uh, yeah, this, this team was good, but not good great obviously you can, you're not expecting the team to be great you have a few players who you kind of aim to get the ball at all the time Majnikov Lin Peer the left mid was another one and the right mid Puri I always tried to get the ball to them to, so they could kind of work with it if you know what I mean but I'm looking here through some of the goals on Anie or Anier I'm not sure how you pronounce it he scores some crackers he does and uh, have a look at this Sergei Mojnikov is fi has 55 shooting look at that for a finish that's absolutely spectacular uh, also leave some suggestions for exotic teams I might go South America next I don't, I'm not sure uh, well I, I already have about 5 clips for, for another side and it's not in South America but but leave me some suggestions anyway right but fucking hell uh, <coughs> the foot end link to this team will be in the description below as per usual so check that out if you want a more detailed look and um i suppose the 4 one 2 one 2 worked well but you know you're not expecting much from this team and it was quite a challenge some sometimes even last night look hang on before i continue look at that goal from Moshnikov. holy mother of uh, jesus <laughs> uh, what a finish that was uh so i thought i'd get a few cinematics in there beautiful stuff um, but what was I going to say yeah even last night I was trying to get a few more clips and I came up against a team with Rooney Welbeck Gutierrez Marva Wynn all these kind of players that just kind of made me go oh Jesus I haven't a hope like Marvel win. my left mate has got 59 pace or something like that so I hadn't a hope of beating him but uh Beautiful little finish there. And we're going to finish this episode off with a near chance from Mojnikov. Wait to see this. Uh, so, basically, if you have enjoyed the episode, do leave a like. It helps me out so much. And uh, I'll talk to you t tomorrow or something like that. So, enjoy the rest of your day, baby.